yo, I got four girls left, and boy, do I got different crazy personalities mixed up in one house right now. I don't like that she's here. Hey, baby. Yeah. I don't feel like she's messing up with what we, what we originally started. Yeah. What is this desire for her? New York does not deserve to be here at all. I'm not even worried about her ass because I feel like he don't want her ass anyway. And I don't trust her. Mm -hmm. No, nah, she really is up to something. Mm -hmm. Crazy is being very foolish right now. You telling that woman all of your weaknesses. Delicious is playing the game hard, and she knows what she's doing. She's stirring the pot. I needed this stuff. Because she's dumb. New York is playing you. She has no liking for you. She wants you eliminated just like anybody else in the house. Wake up. She do not know she is dancing with the devil. She's such a dumb bitch. We just let New York destroy her. Good morning, ladies. Good, Good morning, morning, Big Rick. Rick. It's flavorgram time. Ladies, now that I'm down to my four prime cuts, <laughs> it's time to start slicking things up a bit. So today, delicious and crazy, you'll be joining me in the LB. For an overnight trip to the high, high seas. Being that your man Flavor Flav is down to four girls, it's time to split this up. Take them out on two overnight dates. And the first two that I'm going to take, I'm going to take crazy and delicious. Boots in New York, you all sit tight for a minute. Because tomorrow you'll be joining me at my favorite country spot. I'm loving you all right now. The Flav. Drama, drama, drama. She starts doing the dramatic hoopla that she normally does. Sit tight. Oh, I'm sitting tight. <laughs> I know New York is so pissed right now. She hasn't had a date for about four days, so I'm just laughing inside, thinking I know she's going to have something smart to say. I wonder where y'all going to stay in LBC. But I know the LBC. I could totally sh show them around and everything. Did you guys go on a date yesterday? Oh, I'm sorry, just oh, enjoy it yourself. That bitch is fucking loony. I was so shocked to see that Flav didn't pick me first to go on a date with him. Oh. And he picks crazy and delicious. I'm like, what's going on? <gasps> Ladies. Now that I'm down to my four prime cuts, it's time to start slicing things up a bit. Did she say slicking? It says slicing. It does? Slicing, baby. English was my major in college. Why this holding pattern? What is up with this equation? I want to go. I want to spend time with you, and he just doesn't get it. What's up with you, Flay? You all right? I'm not I. Like, I've been hearing you ladies say, oh, New York has an advantage. New York has an advantage. I got it twice as worse. Because if he doesn't pick me, it's no, like opening up the same wound. You know? Getting uh, shot in the same place again. I understand where you're coming from. Trust me, I understand where you're coming from. But don't direct that to me. I am not going to apologize or have any reservations about the way I react to anything. I need time with him. I think at this point, New York feels that I am her biggest threat. And so she's directing all of her frustrations towards me. You guys just don't know what I'm going through. Hey. Let's do this, sis. What's up, Miss Crazy? What's up? Road trip, baby. We are ready for our road trip. Hop a window, sweetheart. Thank you, darling. I was pumped. I was excited. Hey. Welcome to Long Beach. What's up? Yo, delicious. Yo, crazy. Hey, what's up, buddy? Hi, I'm your host. Welcome to Flavor Island. I've been missing you, puppy. Yo, crazy. So we show up, and Flav's standing on this huge yacht. I'm so excited about going sailing. I love the water. I love the open air. Hey, girls. Hey. I'm Captain Warren. Delicious. Hey, 
Congratulations. It's going to be your skipper for crazy. today. Now let's get on board and we're going to teach you how to sell this thing. I'm going to take crazy and delicious on a nice sailboat on the water. Might be so beautiful, we might can make a daughter. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. Captain Flake! <laughs> My bad, my bad, my bad. Easy on the wheel, Flake. Stay I thought your you left, son. I thought you said go easy to the right, son. I'm going to go to the left. OK, wait, easy on the wheel. Easy on the oh, wheel, I'm man. No That's right, Captain Flav, man. <laughs> I was the driver. I was the driver of the boat. All right, ladies, we're going to hoist the sail. Okay, You're going to have to hold this real hard. Stand with your legs kind of wide open there. This way is easier. Yeah, you got it. Oh, girl. Grind up winches. Grind the winches. Come on, mommy. <laughs> oh, my. A little more, Max. Come on. Uh. You have to see these girls working, G. You know what I'm saying? And they was turning this thing so we could set the sail. I ain't gonna lie, but boy, was it fun watching them work in those bikinis. Oh, my God. Uh oh. oh I just dropped my arrow. You got the bat? He got it. So Flav drops his earring, and Delicious goes to help him out, and all of a sudden, they're making out. That made me mad. I'm going to steal his attention away, and he's going to be mine by the end of the day. My girl Delicious started getting a little seasick. I don't really think she was sick from the sea. I think she was sick from the me. Me interacting with crazy. Wow. You lost in your kisses. I went down to the bottom of the boat, nauseous and sick. And the whole while, crazy was upstairs getting it all with Flav. Not a good thing. How you feel? I've been waiting to spend time with you. I would never take advantage of your heart. You know, I'm not out to break it. I can give you all of me. I can give you my soul. I can give you everything. Ugh. I think I'm about to be sick. This is a fly ass day. This make me want to hold you and kiss you more. I think I got this in the bag. Me and Flavor connecting. We're having a great time, and Delicious is gone, so I'm enjoying this. believe that he's out with them two right now. And he's taking Delicious out again, and he's going out with Crazy, and I'm like, this date should have been mine. Delicious and Crazy are going on their date while New York's in her room pouting like a little baby she is. <sighs> My emotions are just so up in the air. I don't know if I can take this right now. When New York gets all over dramatic, I feel like what she does is just way over the top. I just. I want to be left alone. I'm just laughing inside. How you doing? I just want to say welcome to accommodation for the night. All right. All right. All right this is oh. us for the night. Yeah. Second part of my date, I took him upon a haunted ship called the Queen Mary. Wow. <laughs> I'll see y'all later. Now, it's the second part of the day, and right now my focus is on him. And I'm trying to suck up as much time I can with him. I have really grown to care for Flav, and I am not comfortable with him being with other women. Unless something miraculous happens tonight that lets me know that he's feeling the same way, I'm going to tell Flav that I want him to send me home. Well, the second part of my date that I had with Delicious and Crazy, I took him upon a ship called the Queen Mary. And I've got a very special dinner planned for the three of us. And I was really, really excited because I couldn't wait for the show to start. Wow. <laughs> Good evening, ladies. How y'all doing? Good, Good, thank you. Wonderful, you. Thank you. 
boy! They was looking so good, both of them could have been on my plates. Thank you, Daddy. You're welcome, Mommy. Thank you, Buffy. I'm really confident we're gonna have a great second part of the date. Delicious was scared of the connection that we have going on because it's natural and it is not fake. She's worried and she needs to be because right now my heart's with this man and I'm not letting him go for any woman. I'm just glad right now to be able to have both of you queens right next to me right now. Both of y'all are queens. I have really grown to care for Flav a great deal, more than I expect so soon. And I'm just not the type to share my man. So unless he's feeling what I'm feeling, this could possibly be my last night. I just want to know how are both of y'all feeling about Flav right now? I want to start off with you, crazy. I'm feeling that my heart is um, getting deeper and deeper into yours. I'm really feeling you a lot. You may be across the room. I could feel you across the other side of the room. When we kiss, I feel like I'm just, I'm gone for a minute, you know? I kind of just black out, and then I open my eyes and I'm dizzy. Blah, 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 blah. It was all like this spoken word poetry type of stuff. It, it came out very unnatural. I think he saw right through her. I know I did. Name for me three ways of light that we have. Do we have any ways of light? The way you are when you go around people and you want to talk to everyone and, and you're so considerate. Wait, wait, answer the question. Do we, do we have ways of light? I think we do. The consideration for people. I don't know how to explain it. The way that you feel people out when you meet them. Flav asks some very deep questions tonight. And based on Crazy's response, all I could think was, hmm. My heart is so big. And so I'm such a compassionate person. And I see the same thing in you. I think Flav is feeling my answers, but every time I answer, I have Delicious in the background rolling her eyes, giving me attitude. It's starting to piss me off. Say you like to sing. Sing me something. OK. Let me just sing something that's on my mind. Mm, baby, I have been thinking about you. This was more sickening than the nausea from the sailing. It makes me want to throw up. I will be with you forever. Would you like to make, make a record one day? I would love to do it. Crazy has a hidden agenda, and she's not able to hide it that well. She wants to pursue her music career. And she believes that Flav is going to open the door for her for that. Yeah, I mean, it seems like you got to have the money for everything, too. You can't make money without having money. Well, I don't have money, so it's like. I see Crazy. She's been wanting a singing career. So I don't know. Maybe was Crazy more here for Flav and a record deal? I don't know, folks. So delicious. Mm -hmm. How much are you really feeling me? Liking you based on what I knew publicly was just to start moving into your house, being in your presence, enjoying your laughter, enjoying your character and your funny ways. There's no poetic way for me to say it. I just like what I like, and what I like right now is you. Delicious gets her question second, so she has everything planned out like she's in a freaking beauty pageant, and everything's staged. It was just absolutely ridiculous. But today, I realize it's a little bit greater of an emotional connection than I had anticipated, especially this soon. And I spent maybe an hour and a half sick to my stomach, not just because of the waves of the ocean, but because of the idea of you enjoying someone else's company in front of me. That let me know that what I was feeling was real. She's crying and making a scene. And I'm sitting there like, God, are you kidding me? The bond that I have with each one of y'all it's special. So now I am once again in the middle. Flav is more than likely going to decide to spend the evening with one of us. And if that woman is not me, I don't know how I'm going to stand up emotionally. We do it like this. Like the date you tonight. Would you mind? No, not at all. It's crazy. I'm going to see you back at the house. OK. OK? 
It's delicious. Delicious was feeling more true to me. Crazy's answers was more like, well, I know I'm in a competition, so I'm going to say whatever it takes for me to win your heart over. See you later, delicious. I'm I mean, here. I'm <laughs> shit. Flav turns around and bids Crazy goodnight, but he calls her delicious. <laughs> to sit there and have dinner with him and watch him walk off with another woman. That shit hurts. I got this dessert sitting in front of me. Like, what? What the hell am I supposed to do with this? I just, I can't believe that this just happened. I was thinking that the feeling was mutual and I was kind of wrong and delicious. All I have to say to you is the next time you smile in my face, I'll be thinking, fuck you. I will be with you forever. Um, this is it right here. Mm, I love the way your lips feel. Mm. Mm, you know what's even better than that? What? You? Me. Hell yeah. I feel so much better, because now I can stay in the game, and I'm comfortable knowing that I'm not just here feeling him. He's feeling me as well. Come here. This is my side. God knows this is my side right here. Where, that's your side? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever brought a horse? <laughs> Boy, was the date great. Had a good time with Delicious. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, we hugged and cuddled all night. We talked. Then we went to sleep. I ain't gonna lie. You know your man Flavor Flay was kind of beat down. Yo, so last night, I invited Delicious back to my room for a solo date. Oh. And boy, was the date great. So the next day, I got New York and boots. Wow. This, I said to myself, folks, is going to be a very, very interesting date. Flav arranged for us to meet him in this beautiful, gorgeous winery. The weather was perfect, and I just wanted to be near Flav. How you all doing? Good. I really hate the fact that New York is with me. I really wish that she was not here. She right. thinks she's so cute, and she's not. Hey, listen, I want y'all to come with me this way for a minute. Hey, yo, Ruthann! I had a little surprise for them. I caught my girl, Ruthann, and Ruthann bought me three horses. That's right, three horses. All right, that's New York, Hi. and that's Booth. When the lady comes out with the horses, I'm thinking to myself, what is he thinking? I've on a skirt. We're going to get on these horses, and we're going to ride off into the sunset, OK? <laughs> all right, y'all all right with that? Yep. Yeah. Very nervous at this point. I don't do well with large animals, small animals. Any animals, a horse, it's so overpowering, it's overbearing. We're gonna get up on here. Oh, God. Put this foot, ready? Go, Boots. I think Flav was kind of shocked that I was just getting on the horse and I wasn't really panicking at all. You look good up there, Boots. Thank you. <laughs> you ready to ride? New York. What about my purse? Thanks, Flav. I know to get to the vineyard, I have to get my ass on the ass. A little nervous about that, but um, I think I pulled it off rather well. Oh, oh God! Right. <laughs> right. Is it your life? I mean, okay. Come on. <laughs> okay, one, two. <laughs> there you go. Oh, God. She was totally freaked out. I'm looking at her laughing because I can see her panicking while Flav's trying to help her get on the horse. So. Oh, my God. He did something. New York. Okay. Don't worry, I won't say New nothing. <laughs> Flavor Flay! This is the bomb right here. <laughs> She's a rider. Oh. 
Easy, babe, easy. It was definitely a new experience for me out in wine country. It's not something that I do every day. <laughs> oh, oh, shit! I'm falling! Oh, God! Oh, no, 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 no! I ain't gonna lie. I thought the horse was gonna run off with New York and run us straight through the winery. See this gentleman up here? This is my man, Mr. Wilson. Hi, Mr. Wilson. Hello, ladies. My boy had it laid out for your man, Flavor Flav. We just bottled this. This is our <laughs> 2004 Estate Syrah. I don't never been wine tasting. I'm not a wine drinker. I just drink, like, vodka, Hennessy, stuff like that. So it would be a different thing for me. Yo, Boots, mm -hmm. I love who you are. Thank you. I'm just proud of the way you stick up for yourself. I like that. That's why you're still here. Thank you. When Flav gives me compliments on me and my personality, I feel good because he knows who I am. Love me some boots. Love me some Flav. <laughs> <laughs> It feels so good to be near you. You don't right know. Mm -hmm. I was getting ready to New York. You're failing me. I needed you. You're failing me. I needed me. to be in your presence. I needed But you're it. failing me. It seemed like he was giving boots all the attention. I'm like, do you realize that I'm sitting here for a second time? We need to reconnect. And I'm here for you once again, if not more than before. New York is just fucking get on my last nerve. And I'm tired of having to see her on my man's jog when he is not paying her any attention. And to me, if a man ain't paying attention to you, he don't want you. I'm going to show you your next vintage over there. Get in there. Get your feet dirty, get your hands dirty, get any part of your body dirty you want. We've got a shower here for you. You guys have a great afternoon. Thank Enjoy. you. Have Thank fun. You. Thank you, Mr. Wilson. Would y'all get messy with me? I want to get messy, OK? OK. All right. Had the girls take off their clothes. Boy, did I really, really, really want to take a great bath with the girls. There you go. New York was drunk. She was acting a fool on that date. I'm feeling so good. This is just how I'm feeling. <laughs> I tell you, so, this shit is the ultimate high to me right now. I'm sorry. I had to go cool myself off because your man was so hot. I would have burnt up the grape field. Then those people wouldn't have had no more grapes to make wine. <laughs> booty, booty, booty. <laughs> I know y'all wish that y'all was me right now, you know what I'm saying? But you're not. <laughs> Your man, Flavor Flav. <laughs> man, that was a very beautiful afternoon sitting there with my girls exploring a wonderful, wonderful world of wine. Flav. Booze. Flav. Booze. <laughs> you did it just like me right now. <laughs> After the winery date, I take Boots and New York to a hotel called Pachanga. Welcome back, Flav. Thank you, player. Flav walks us all the way up to the room, and he has rose petals over the bed. Oh, the pink one's mine. Awesome. <laughs> I'll totally take peppermint. He had baskets of grapes, apples. Oh, there's food in oh. here, girl. It was just really laid out nicely. I want y'all to look, look your flyers and shit for your man. <laughs> I really don't care about sharing Flav with New York because I know he's not going to pick her anyway. She's not a threat to me. Flav may pick one of us to go to his suite tonight, and I definitely feel it should be me. I haven't spent any one-on-one -on -one time with him since I've been back, and he better pick me. Mr. Flav is ready for dinner. Thank you. I rented out a nightclub. You know what I'm saying? So I can have this nightclub to just me and my two girls. <laughs> Big Rick! Loving you, Big Brother. Yes, sir. Go handle that dinner date, sir. Flav comes down the stairs looking all nice, dressed, pimped out like he always does. You look nice, Boots. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Flav. Did y'all have a good time today at that at, at Great. The totally. Huh? I never rode a horse before. I was scared, but... Boots, you wasn't scared at all. You're not scared of nothing. No. Boots. <laughs> Why, Boots? What? 
and you're not really looking to have no affairs or whatever till you get married. Boots says she's celibate. I think she needs to find out what the definition of celibacy is because that girl looks like she spreads it to the world. She's a slut. Boots. Why Boots? I'm feeling good about Boots, and I'm feeling kind of interested, but I'm looking for a girl that I could kick it with right now. No, you drive me crazy waiting, Boots. You are worth waiting for. Okay. And a strong woman wins. That's you, Boots. Flav is, let's call it what it is. He's ignoring me. I'm like, here I am. Take me. Give me something. I am no back burner, bitch. Can I say something? Say it. I just want to let you know how I'm feeling. I'm feeling a little discouraged, you know, a little out of it. And the reason is because we haven't had any one-on-one -on -one time. I think I'm entitled to it, damn it. Shit, you owe me it. I need that <laughs> interaction with you. That Nelly shit look kind of hot on you, dog. Thank you. What's the matter, New York? <laughs> Nothing. Hey, yo, New York. New York. New York. New York. New York starts demanding a one-on-one -on -one time. Fuck this. I didn't answer her fast enough, and boy, did New York get up and storm away from the table. Get that fucking camera out of my face. What's the matter, New York? <laughs> Nothing. Hey, yo, New York. New York. So here we are sitting here on the date, and boy, did New York get up and storm away from the table. Fuck this shit. I will not sit there and basically be disrespected. It's like, boots this, boots that, boots this, boots that. No New York. Hey. But if you know what? It's all right. No, because... <laughs> come on. No, let me talk come to on, you. Come on, come on. You know, I see you trying to get to know what's her name in there, and it's like, you know, that shit's eating me up, and you know it, too. I know, New York. It was very uncomfortable, but at the same time, it was all my tactic. I knew Flav would definitely come after me, see if I was all right. Would you come to my room with me? Hell yeah. What you think I've been waiting you? for, Flav? I've been wanting to spend some time with you, New York and I was gonna make sure that happened. New York didn't know that I was about to ask her for a date. And I said, get your butt back in here because we're gonna finish this dinner and then I'm gonna take you to my room with me. Yes, one-on-one. -on -one. All right. I deserve it. All right, New York. How you feeling, Boots? I don't think that you should be chasing her around. That's like the second time. He didn't chase me. He went to go check on me because he didn't want me to leave the table. He was concerned about his New York. Well, he shouldn't be if you walking out on him. I didn't walk out on him. I went to go let some steam off. And he came to check up on me. Now I'm back. She leaves the table just because he's complimenting me. And you know, to me, that's disrespectful. I didn't appreciate that shit. This is my dinner, too, and she ruined that for me. And that's none of your concern. It is if I'm on this fucking date. You shouldn't be on the date. That's why I left, because I need one-on-one -on -one time with my man. Well, you should have told let it off Flav and... to respect him. You should have said, tell me what you should have said, him. that's what the fuck you should have said, is excuse me from this table. You don't no, just fucking leave and shit. And he calling me. you, and you got some bullshit. I'm gonna, get him I'm gonna back. do what I want, you come back. Boots. I totally don't feel sorry for Boots for leaving her at the table. This was a Flav in New York moment. I was gonna steal it, I was gonna take it. I haven't had one-on-one -on -one time with him. I I have to make sure that I'm breaking down doors and standing my ground and make sure I have something to stand on. Me knowing New York and how jealous she is, she can't stand to see me with another woman. You know, it was hard trying to really get to know Boots with a jealous woman next to me. So if I'm acting like a baby or a brat, so be it. I need my one-on-one -on -one time. And I'm gonna get it tonight. Mistake is bomb. <laughs> New York. New York is in the motherfucking house. New York? Yeah? Would you join me? No, I'm gonna sit at this table all night across from Boots. Of course I'm gonna join you. <laughs> you know what? Take her. Because he can't give her a clock just for pity. Listen, I'm gonna go. 
All right. Mm -hmm. I'll see you back at the mansion. All right. What does she have? So what? Her bust line is a little bit more fuller. She has the hips and the ass. I don't need all that. You know, I have the brain power. I'm wonderful. And my frame is, you know, just great. So your boots. How's your steak, hon? It's gonna hold you over for tonight? That's the meat you've been waiting for. Right now, I just wanna take my steak knife and shove it down her throat because she is just getting on my last damn nerve. Hi, Flame. <laughs> I've been missing you. <laughs> Oh, no, in trouble now. <laughs> this is just sheer bliss for me right now. <laughs> I feel like I really have a chance this time. Like, oh, Flay, you're so good. You got me feeling so damn good. And what feels really so good is having you back around my life, New York. All I've been waiting for, all I've been bitching for, all I've been starting trouble in the house for, all I've been acting like a baby at dinner tonight for, this is the moment. And now I'm really back in the house. Oh, Flav, you don't know what you do to me. You just have no clue. Mm -hmm. come, come with me to my bed. I'm feeling like I'm missing New York and I really needed to spend some time with New York. Cause you know, I ain't really spent no time with New York since she been back. It was just a magical night. By the end of the night, Flav took me. He needed me. I needed it. We basically took a chunk out of each other, if you will. And It was a good chunk, and we chunked up the rest of the night. Oh, this shit is proper. This shit is proper. <sighs> it's hot in here. Flavor, flay! <laughs> Yo, Big Rick. Woo, I had a good time here, baby. So last night, I finished up my four remaining dates with the four remaining ladies. I got some decisions, man, that I got to make tonight, Rick. Because tonight, got eliminations. We well, off to L.A., Rick. Yes, sir. How are you feeling tonight? <sighs> like a crazed maniac. Well, it is elimination night, and there's tension in the house, you know? The girls are nervous. They're agitated by me because they know I'm not going anywhere tonight. He need to come on, because I'm going to start sweating. I'm very, very nervous, because Flav did say he cannot be with someone that is going to be celibate until they're married. I'm so nervous. I don't know what to do. Me too. Did you pack? I put some of my stuff away, just in case. I want to try to make a future with him, so I pray that he feels me, and he sees me, and I stay here. I'm really, really nervous. It is jerking at my heart, the idea of me not being here. I'll be devastated if I don't receive a clap. It's down to four girls, it's elimination, and I am feeling this man so much. I'm just hoping that these women didn't brainwash him into thinking that I am not a real woman when I'm the only real one in this house. I am New York, I'm fabulous. I can totally come out here with rollers in my hair and rock it. I feel great, I look great, and I'm not going anywhere tonight, so why take my rollers out? I think either Crazy or New York should go home tonight because I just feel like they're not right for Flav. New York's here just to play her little mind games, and Crazy's here because she's a fake ass bitch and she won a singing career. Good evening, ladies. Good evening. Y'all look slamming. Boom, boom, bam it. Tonight's decision is based on Flavor Flav's emotions. Because I do get emotional. My first clock goes to... It's a 
second time around, New York. Yes. I received my clock first, and I think that was the first time it happened, and everything is just going according to plan. You know what time it is? Yes, I do. Clock number two, y'all know what it do. For real, this is the deal. Delicious, come get your clock. Because I recognize who you are. Thank you. Not only that, but you're mad gorgeous. <laughs> Why are you delicious? <laughs> I'm not sure what Flav sees in Delicious. Delicious is two-faced, untrustworthy, and a bitch. Delicious, you know what time it is. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Flav only has one clock left, so I'm standing here, and I'm so afraid that I'm not going to be picked. Got two bodies left? Yes, sir. There's one clock, Rick? Yes, sir. There's boots, there's crazy. There's crazy, and there's boots. I'm going to tell you something. Each one of y'all, man, means a lot to me, man. This is real deep for me right now, you know what I'm saying? There's a reason why I'm making this decision. Crazy, come get your clock. Crazy is definitely not competition for me. She likes to make Flav believe that she's totally there for him, which is bull because she's there for her singing career. She's fake. Yes. Your time is up. All right. But bulls. Bulls, man. <laughs> yes. It was hard to get rid of bulls, <laughs> but I know for a fact that Boots' connection wasn't as strong as me and Crazy. Boots. <laughs> what? See you later, okay? Okay. Oh, I got one thing for you. Call me when you get sick of these hoes. <laughs> That's my mama, girl. <laughs> Say no more, okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. See you later, boys. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Love you, boys. <laughs> Bye, Big Red. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Peace out. <laughs> Boots knew she couldn't hold a candle to me. She's just, oh, God. It was so good to see her leave. Flay just eliminated me because he wants someone that he can fuck right now. And I'm not about to fuck him right now because I'm waiting till I'm married. So all the other girls could be a baby mama to him, but he knows that I'm not about to give it up. This is for boots. I'm really excited because Delicious is by herself now and she doesn't have her two little people with her. So I want to see how she's going to hold up under pressure. All that for boots. All that for my girl boots. Ladies. Come around your man. Delicious and crazy, they don't deserve to be here. And they're silly putty in my fingers right now, in my hands. I have them both where I want them. Let me hear it one time for your man. Flavor, Flay! Flavor, Flay! I love you. There was, there's nothing that I won't do for you. I have the ability to do anything for you, and that I will do. You deserve nothing less. You deserve what I can do for you, and then some. So that's everything in me and more. I will do anything for you. I'm, I love you. Mm -hmm.